This video is designed for those of you who are located in California. If you're chiming in from another state, please do not discount the content of this video. Whatever happens in California tends to have a trickle down effect on your state. Look at Oregon, look at New York, look at New Jersey. Look at the laws in your state, if you're not in California, that involve gun control measures. And sometimes you'll see an almost a copy and paste of California law. If you're in California, you might have a concealed carry permit. You may have had a concealed carry permit for many years. If you are thinking about having a concealed carry permit or applying for one, you're going to see by the end of the video how these draconian laws will have an effect on you, how that permit is going to be worthless if, it, if this bill, Senate 918, is signed. And I'm going to keep repeating this. Governor Newsom said he was going to sign 918. We're just waiting for the California legislature to start making some amendments, some, some changes, and it's going to his desk. And he's waiting to sign that bill. Those of you who are in California who have a concealed carry permit, you guys are going to be more frustrated because you, you've had a permit for a good amount of time. And unfortunately, a lot of us in California, well, maybe fortunately, a lot of us in California want to have a concealed carry permit just like you. Because all of this attention, because of the recent U.S. Supreme Court decision that basically eliminated a good cause requirement for the concealed carry permit application in California. Because of this, Senate Bill 918 was, was authored. Right now, you guys, there's a direct fight against the Second Amendment. A direct fight against your constitutional rights. These rights were fought for in blood, which just angers me a lot more. Fought for in blood, blood, sweat, and tears. So this is how crazy this is. So let's just assume that I have a concealed carry permit. Now I don't have a concealed carry permit that's issued by a sheriff's department. I don't have that type of concealed carry permit. But if I did, I could already name right now. Well, basically I violated, if this bill was signed into office, three to four, I violate this law three to four times. This morning I wake up bright and early for all intents and purposes, I leave the house with my firearm. Let's just say I have a concealed carry permit. One of the first turns that I make, I pass a public park. That's already a violation of the law if this bill is signed on further down the road on the left and on the right are two schools, a high school and an elementary school. I just violated the law again, and that would be two counts because on the left, I have a high school and on the right, there's an elementary school. Then I go down the road and I arrive at the lavatory to get my blood drawn. Just, being in that parking lot, being there, I violated the law again. So right now the law says, if this bill becomes law, that I can't be adjacent to a public park and I can't be in a school zone. I just went through the school zone. I also can't be at a retail establishment. I also can't be in the parking lot of a medical facility. The laboratory that draws blood, that's considered a medical facility. I can't even go to the Starbucks. If I can go to Starbucks, that's a retail establishment. So right now, I violated the law three times. Three times. On the door to the laboratory is a sign that says, no concealed firearms. Like the sign is gonna help with an active shooter situation. Where's the common sense, guys? You think the guy that is, hell, that is hell bent on hurting everybody in the laboratory, you think they're gonna read the sign and put their concealed firearm away? This laboratory is so stupid, by the way. It doesn't say no exposed firearm, it just says no concealed firearm. But that's that's topic of another story. So I broke the law at least three times if this bill was signed into office and if I had a concealed carry permit. 
three times. Does this make any sense to you? This bill was drafted and it was approved in multiple committees by Democrats. Democrats, you guys. In California, we have a political issue. Democrats are attempting to take away our right to bear arms as a form of control. They'll do this to other Democrats, Republicans, but right now there's a struggle of control in California and the monopolies by Democrats. Un freaking believable. If I speak out against this, I'm considered a racist. That's what popular media has me positioned at, as being a racist, because I'm speaking out against this. Unbelievable. Those of you who work executive protection, you're not gonna be exempt from this. There's no exemption for private security. These buffoons that created these laws, that are authoring these bills, they don't take into account that executive protection protects them when they're away from government facilities. It protects them. They don't understand. So if you're executive protection agent or officer or your bodyguard, you're basically protected as long as you stay on your property. What the new law will say is that you need some type of written permission from the head of security or the head of law enforcement that has jurisdiction of your particular post or, or property. You need that written permission to have a firearm with you. And also, some other crazy thing I want to talk about is that a lot of these businesses that you frequent, if you want to bring a concealed carry or you want to bring a gun into the premises, you have to have written permission from the owner. Also, there has to be a sign that says firearms are allowed. Forget the sign that says firearms are not allowed. The sign has to say that firearms are permitted on this property. So what they're doing is they're, they're causing you guys to create a political stance. I could just see what happens when you have that sign that firearms are allowed on, on, on property. Basi you're basically saying what political party you're affiliated with. Why should you have to put a sign that says concealed carry permit holders are allowed. Why? That doesn't make any sense. So going back to executive protection, you're fine as long as you're on your property or your client's property. Now, if you have a celebrity or a VIP that's going from place to place, you need written permission from each of these places. So if you just stop at the McDonald's, in and out wherever you stop, Burger King, Wiener Schnitzel's, wherever you go, Subway, for your celebrity just to pick up some food, you need written permission from that place as well. And that's why, my friends, if you have a concealed carry permit, your permit becomes invalidated because of that, it's de facto. Where can you even go with your concealed carry permit with a firearm? You, you can't go almost anywhere. And that's what these, these tyrants are attempting to do. Tyrants. Nothing but tyrants, you guys. Wake up. Wake up, America. You're falling asleep. There's almost no place to go. If you go, if you pass the post office, that's a government building that you're adjacent to. You pass a public works building, that's a public government building that you, you can't be near with your, your firearm. Parks, the public parks. Gover that's that's a government controlled area. Where do you go? I can't think of anywhere. It, it just it, it just it, it just boils me down. It angers me that this is being done in America, and most of you are not saying nothing about it. Most people. that watch this video, a lot, not most, a lot are cowards. They're cowards, you guys are cowards. If you don't speak out against it. And I hate to say that, I hate to put you in this context. And yes, I'm talking to you. You're not on 
YouTube or social media giving the same information that I am as well as other people. You're the sheep. You're just taking in whatever, whatever it is that is going to be imposed on you. And then later on, you'll be complaining. But right now, you're doing nothing. That's why I'm saying share this video with other Do something. Do something. I just have some literature coming in. It's not it. Any, anyhow, November, we have elections. I'm going to try my best not to vote for any Democrat. If I'm voting for Democrat, I'm voting for a party that is going to infringe on my Second Amendment right. If you don't want to be a coward, go to the voting box and vote vote these pieces of scum out of office, you guys. I'm telling you, if you work executive protection, your whole business is going to become invalidated. How do you protect your celebrity in a public place effectively when you have to have written permission from every single business? If you go to a mall and your celebrity goes to 12 different stores in the mall, you need 12 different authorizations from the owner of the property, the head of security. Who does that? Who does that? You can't, you can't be near a hospital. You can't go inside of a hospital. If you're the victim of domestic violence and you're fleeing abuse and your, your stalker, your ex, your current abuser is trying to kill you, you can't have a firearm with you. You have to disarm yourself in that hospital. Unbelievable. Some, are, some of you are saying, I will not comply. I understand that. But why should you face criminal penalties for just exercising your Second Amendment right? Why is that so? Some of you are saying, oh, the Supreme Court is going to invalidate all these California laws. And you might be correct. However, a U.S. Supreme Court decision takes a long time. In order for your case to get to the U.S. Supreme Court, it's going to, it's going to take sometimes five years, sometimes eight years, sometimes almost ten years for our justices to hear the case. And there is no guarantee that they're going to review the case. The U.S. Supreme Court does not have to hear any Second Amendment cases at all. They get judicial discretion. So let me know what your thoughts are on this. If you work in private security and you have a concealed carry permit, is this going to affect you? What are your thoughts, you guys? We need to do something now. Take care.